Thank you, Mayor. Before I provide an update, I'd first like to extend my sincerest of sympathies to the family of Tatiana Jefferson. Her father called this shooting senseless, and I certainly have not been able to make sense of why she had to lose her life. On behalf of the men and women of the Fort Worth Police Department, I'm so sorry for what occurred. You, Tatiana's family and friends, have my apologies, my condolences, and my prayers. We've received many calls from the community expressing their concerns and demands. And I assure you, as chief of this department, I share those concerns and I demand a thorough, transparent, and speedy investigation. This will not be an opportunity for us to make excuses, but rather to investigate this case to the fullest to provide the justice we all seek for Tatiana. Our officer-involved shootings are investigated by both our major case unit, which investigates the criminal aspect of the case, and our internal affairs unit, which investigates administrative policy and training violations. These investigations concur or occur concurrently, but separately. I will outline where we are with both, both investigations at this point. The Internal Affairs Unit responded to the scene of the shooting. Their role is to observe the on-scene investigation, but they take a back seat to the criminal investigation being conducted by the Major Case Unit. The officer who shot at Tatiana was served his written administrative complaint on Sunday. At that time, he was also placed on detached duty and stripped of his badge and firearm. My intent was to meet with him today to terminate his employment with the Fort Worth Police Department However, the officer tendered his resignation this morning before we met. Even though he no longer works for the city, we will continue the administrative investigation as if he did. The case will be completed and reviewed by the chain of command. Had the officer not resigned, I would have fired him for violations of several policies, including our use of force policy, our de-escalation policy, and unprofessional conduct. A statement to that effect will be placed within the investigation to serve as a written record of that determination. Additionally, the separation paperwork that is sent to the state licensing agency, the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement, will reflect that he was dishonorably discharged from employment with the Fort Worth Police Department. Now that the officer has resigned, he's no longer, he no longer has the protections of state civil service law. Therefore, I can now release his name. Aaron Dean, ID 4598, was the officer who responded to the call and fired the shot that killed the Tatiana. He was hired by the department on August 21st, 2017 and commissioned as a licensed peace officer on April 13th, 2018. Despite his resignation, the officer still faces criminal charges from the major case investigation. I've personally checked on the progress of that case repeatedly and I anticipate a substantial update to provide you no later than tomorrow. Additionally, we have also presented a preliminary case to the FBI to review the officer's actions for possible civil rights violations. None of this information can ease the pain of Tatiana's family, but I hope it shows the community that we take these incidents seriously. We will continue to provide updates as they become available. Thank you.